Well, we are in the cooking corner. Chef Rebecca Foy from Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here with the recipe for a bread that you don't have to use yeast if, with this. Correct. This is, you could call this a quick bread. It is, um, there's no yeast. It's just baking powder. Baking soda is what's going to give it the, the rise in the oven. Okay. So we're going to get this cooked up real quick. Um, yeah. So Dave, I'm going to get you to help me. This is, uh, the recipe is posted online. So in this bowl right here, I have all-purpose flour. I believe it's two cups. Okay. Dave, you want to start with this? We have sugar. So they also call this an Irish soda bread, I guess, Correct. right? If you see it on the web and you're looking for it in other ways. Uh, there you go. Salt. Any type of salt that you love with this recipe? No, this is actually um, a, a little bit of sea salt, but you could use table salt is, is fine with that. So. Okay. We've got baking powder and baking soda. Don't want to forget these elements. No, these, these are, are the ones that, 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 that make it work. So um, so we'll just kind of give this a quick stir. Um, then you're gonna, we're going to add this cubed butter. It's chilled when you get ready to, uh, to get it stirred up, mixed up. So you, Dave, you want to dump that in there? Sure. Why do you like to cube it? Just makes it easier to blend through the whole, through all the, the flour and all the dry ingredients. So um, you can use a spoon, you can use your you can use your hands. So what you'll do is you'll kind of, you'll crumble up the butter in with the flour in your, all your dry ingredients. Then the next thing, once you get it all crumbled up, it'll make kind of like a, like a meal, like a coarse meal. And um, once it's all incorporated through all your, your dry ingredients, then we're going to add uh, two cups of buttermilk right, right there. Alrighty, let's go with this. Now, so this is going to make, uh, is this going to make one loaf? Are they counted in loaves? How do you do it? Correct. This recipe was, is, is it'll make two loaves. So oh. you'll just divide it in, in half and, and bake them off like that. So we'll get this all incorporated in. You want to mix it as little as possible just to kind of get it, everything stirred up. Then the last thing we're going to add, we actually are going to use golden raisins, which I like those. So you could use the regular raisins. You can use uh, Currants, you can use cranberries, you can use dried fruit, anything, it would work. Ooh, so you just want cranberries to get, would be really good too. Yeah, they would. I think they would, and they would look so pretty in there too. So just give this a good mix, let everything get mixed up. And this is the final. This will be what, after it's all incorporated in, you'll divide it into two separate dough balls like that. You can bake them in a cake pan, you can bake them in a cast iron skillet, you can uh, leave it plain on a, uh, just. you could bake it just like that on a sheet pan in the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 or 40 minutes and it should be nice and golden brown like we have over there. It's not a super sweet bread, but it's it's a little bit on the sweet side. It's very, I, I like it. It's really, it's really good. It's super easy. It's all ingredients that you have at home at hand and it's, it's no yeast. So it's good to go. Fantastic. And just in time for St. Patrick's Day, Irish soda bread or quick bread. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks. You can always check these recipes out. Newson6.com slash recipes.